Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with more Samba Night, Holy Night. I should really get water, I just remembered. Alright, I'm back and I drank some water. I killed my voice doing the last recording of this. But... I digress. Let's move forward. Wait a minute. No, that would be a good one. This, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's get into it. Oh! Of course, remember, if you're liking this, leave a like. It helps a whole bunch. It makes me feel happy. Oh, it sounds like it's a little crackly. Damn it, I'll be right back. Okay. Ho ho, I see you're both still in one piece. I suppose I can only expect so much of a higher diameter thugs, though of course I knew that was going in. I knew that going in. Fine by me, their luck is our good fortune. Now we get the pleasure of whipping them into shape ourselves. Ho 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 ho! Then you were the ones who sent those attackers after us. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I'll say it, it doesn't matter what sort of underhanded moves you employ outside the ring. In the end, victory goes to the ones who train the most deal. All's fair in love and war, and it's sometimes an empl- what? And it's sometimes the tactics you employ off the battle that determine the winner. Though in my case, I'm happy to- I'm so- I'm happy so long as I get to run around, free to do as I like. But that doesn't mean I'm going to horse around. Just slide them up for me, Commander, and I'll knock them down. A third fighter? I totally get your objections, believe me, but there's a reason we have to let them compete, now. Take off those cloaks and show them what I mean. Eh? Hehehe. <laughs> no international competition is complete without the presence of the Great China. Let's see, what's, what is it, Ni Hao? Ni Min Hao? Whatever it may be, my fellow countrywoman is correct. Objection! That is the, that one is clearly from Europe, no? Don't be ridiculous, this is my niece, Hua Muelo. I hired her, brought along with her expertise in torture. I'd love to see the engine form for this. What about, um, him? I was told it would be good luck for them to ride Liu Bu Feng Shui during festivals and such. Makes sense to me since I'm too strong to join the fight. I'm here strictly as a vehicle, not a wrestler. I am a warrior out to become the strongest reindeer ever. Reindeer like me don't show up because it's Christmas. Christmas comes around because the reindeer show up. A centaur? Wait, never mind that. How can it possibly be okay to have a third member on your team? Don't be a fool. This man is my horse. Did you not hear it straight from his mouth? If you mean to bar him, you would need to have the King of Knights and the King of Conquerors dismount their steeds as well. Now I really want to see your entry form. Now I see. You have been exploiting loopholes in the rules to give yourself an advantage both in and out of the ring, yes? You are certainly as underhanded as the little Santa said you were. But I see. Even that is not the whole story. Underhandedness has become core part of your arsenal in every aspect of the fight. So you are Ruda who is all about the weapons. I haven't the foggiest notion of what you mean, but I take that as a compliment. Good, then I must compliment you on the keen eye. <laughs> but I still don't understand. Why would you do all this just to win? Need to ask? What are your presents if not rewards, and who would dole out rewards to the commoners? The most important person in the entire world, of course, and that's obviously the Emperor. Did you know there's another Santa whose job it is to hand out punishments instead of presents? I desire that job. I never dreamed there was a way I would dole out such punishments legally. Just you wait, naughty children. I don't know about all the Santa stuff, but I'm just here because um, I said I get lots of carrots if we win. And I felt I should serve an out, uh, out and out tyrant like this at least once. Besides, I'm Lu Bu. I can't betray my lord, and if I don't have a lord to serve, then I have an in... Not that I have any intention of betraying anyone, of course. Marilulo? What? Mariluso? This is exactly the sort of thing I'd hope to hear from Aruda. Now I can fight you without holding back, and yes, let's go, brother man. Right, three against two, or not, I'm sure I can still manage to... Oh yes, I almost forgot. 
right? And I thought three was pushing it. <laughs> there are more than equipments. I use no different from any other weapon. Surely you do not object to a fighter using weapons of her choice. Now let us have a good, clean, fair tag team match. Man, this is confusing. What even is a tag team match anymore? Talk about it being a jungle out here. In the red corner, representing China, we have the most dangerous team. And in the blue corner, representing Caldea, we have the Quetzal Sisters. You guys can figure out who wins on your own, because this cat's fur, and I mean fed up. I can read these days, no problem. Now, I'm pretty positive The Most Dangerous Team is actually not a reference to Kanika Man, but instead the book, The Most Dangerous Game. Hmm, curious and curious. Oh, I forgot. Okay. That should be enough. I also kind of want to get her to open down. Oh, I just realized this is double assassin. That's gonna be real tough to cook for Quetzal. Mm, this should be fine. Let's see here. Alright, I was right to use a second one there. Oof, that hurt. Here. So we have plenty of crit stars for next turn. But all right, not bad, not bad. Let's see, fatal battle. Really? They all have this? That's annoying. That's super annoying. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I need to take her out because she just targets everyone, so... Here's what's going to happen. She shows to be super strong that she can easily take out Wu in like one hit. Nope, not close. I mean, kind of close. Hmm, 50 something is still alive. Then, of course, we get triple tag team here. I'm gonna have to use this on Brad because I need Brad to live. The last thing I need is for her to die. And I should also activate this with Quetz. Mm, let's hope it's him. It's looking like no. Because again, if Wu hits me, I'm dead. Ow, she got you. Alright, fine, I'm alive. I should be able to take a move here. And go here. And then on my turn, double butt it up. Okay, my next target is right here. Come 
I was gonna say, you better get a full charge from that, or otherwise we're gonna be in some serious trouble. We are now in some serious trouble. We are now in huge amounts of big ass trouble. Uh, I think I just lose here. Um, but it's okay for this reason I'm about to say right now is she uses. See, they think they're slick because they're like, oh man, we're gonna cheat and we're gonna make this super hard for you. Uh, that's just, you know, that's just not gonna be a problem for me. I'm gonna tell you right now so it's finished. See, they think they're slick. They think they're funny. Because um, they're like, oh my god. We win so easily, ha ha ha. This is exactly what we wanted. Wait, what? I don't know why they didn't just win. Oh, I can't use him. They can't, she, they can't use her because, um... Oh my god, they can't use her. Okay, so... Please get crits all three times and we win! Oh no, it's a specific target. I was gonna say, why didn't he attack? I'm somehow still alive in this. No, I'm not. But it's okay, this is the thing I was building up to. I can use command seals, motherfucker, so you're just gonna- if you're gonna cheat me... Um, how about you just fucking die? How about that, huh? You think you're so fucking funny. With everything that you're doing, you're so goddamn hilarious. Like, ha ha ha, look at me. Well... Let me use this, because I'm pretty bossy after he uses Noble Phantasm, he's not allowed to attack again. This is what happens. Um, I'm not about to do this fucking fight again. And you just got stunned. So, eat shit, is what I'm saying. Punk ass. Punk ass horse. Get out of my face. Not even a fully realized horse. Quetz, destroy this man. Completely wipe him off the face of the earth. Later, horse. Need one hit. Goodbye. That's not how you count down. <laughs> That's not how you do countdown squads. All right, let's move on to hopefully. Um, not another fight. Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay, no, no fighting. So let's begin the quest. I've had my share of group battles before, but having to fight so many at once is such a pain. Fighting in an open field would be one thing, but a ring is so confined, we need to find a way out of there to turn the tables. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, but the only thing I can do is just look them right in the eye and appeal to their better nature. We knights are all about duels, after all. That's not any less true in a duel of intellect. What do you say, everyone? If you'd all like to be kind to line up in an orderly fashion, I'll show you all one at a time how brightly we knights can. First, I have my torturers occupy the ring's edges, and then I turn the center to a poison pod. Huh? Hey, that's fighting dirty. And now for the finishing touch, do it. Like this? Right, you're not going anywhere. Oh, now Brandamante's wrists are caught in the Iron Maiden's chains. Full fall. After I surround you with torturers, plunge you into the poison, and hold you down, down with heavy chains, all that will remain to look down from atop red hair. I dare you, sir, there's never been, nor ever will be, a more perfect formation. Just so you know, I'm Lu Bu, not Red Hair. Also, I have, have to say, actually carrying someone on my back like this is kind of annoying. With most empresses, it's like Wee, Wu, Shu, Jin. Aren't those lands all kind of small? 
But with this one, it's like she came to power in China and then got rid of all those lands and clumped them together to form a much bigger nation. I dig it. What? The more I struggle, the more these chains and the poison slow me down. But at the end, if we don't do something drastic, we could end up losing. I'm trusting you to turn things around. We? Why me? You're the one dealing with these chains. They may be a burden, but they're also an opportunity. As long as you keep your cool, you know what to do, yes? Okay, I'll give it my best shot. Si, sí, muy bueno. Okay, si, sí, so. Down she goes. What? Why did she just let herself sink down her shoulders? Now she's going underneath Bradamante and letting Bradamante stand on her shoulders. Using your own body as a platform? See, sí, this is all rough without my full power, but I do still have my innate divine durability. That said, I don't think I can last too long, though. So I've got chains on my wrists and the enemy is all on my side. This calls for one of the 52 street fighting moves. The time I went to an enemy base to settle things once and for all, I ended up fighting a chain deathmatch. Huh? How is she putting me towards her? Is she more proficient in fighting with chains than I am? There shouldn't be anyone these days who is. Very well, then I'll just have to trap her inside my Iron Maiden. Death. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Why me? I'm just the ref. Bradamante used glare from her shield to throw off Carmilla's aim. I feel bad for Jaguar War, but at least Bradamante was able to take Carmilla down. First, I take down the opponent I'm chained to as quickly as possible. Hiya! Then just leaves the gang leader. She's heading straight for me now? Hurry, red hair, get out of the way! Now that I think of it, tight places like the rings aren't a good fit for me, you know? I like wide open plains where I'm free to run around and to portray my superiors. Even if, I wasn't so, even if I wasn't so into betrayal, I can't actually move at all with the torturers crowding in this close, sorry. What? Down they go. Serves them right. We won, Quetzal Mask. Please hang in there. Ole, that's great to hear, yes. I'm just a little worn out from staying in the poison so long. Quetzal Mask? Fofo? Oh my god. Is this the end? <laughs> now that I think about that, I really don't like dealing with poison so overflowing with curses and malice. That was always more than a rat bastard that's a Quetzal Spring. Though I'm sure I could have lasted longer than my original spirit origin. Quetzalcoatl. Oh, but don't worry, no, I'll be fine more with a little bit of the rest. I took a quick scan just to be sure. Her spirit core is not going to be falling apart anytime soon, but her spirit origin's definitely taken some damage. It's not clear how long it'll last or what might happen if she doesn't stay put. All I can say for certain is that she needs plenty of rest. Glad the moves I taught Bradamante helped you win, but I never expect you to end up like this. Since I'm sure Bradamante can't bring herself to ask, I'll do it myself. Will you be able to compete in the next match? No sé. I'm afraid I don't know until tomorrow. Fool. Mopi will not help, no. I'm just sorry I can't dance a samba to cheer everyone up. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll be fine. Just do what you all have to do and everything will work out, yes? Yes, you're right. Between the post-match cooldown, recreation, recuperation, and preparing for the next match, there's no such, there's no end of things we need to take care of. Okay, Quetzal. I understand. I'll be praying for your swift recovery. In the meantime, I'll take care of everything else that needs doing. Just point me in the right direction, manager. We'll get everything ready. You just focus on healing. Right. I'm sure everything will work out, yes. If things go really, really bad... I still have a trump card up my sleeve. Well, ribbons. Oh no. What will happen to Quetzal Mask? Find out. Well, you guys will know before me, chances are, because uh, these take a while to come out. But I'll find out tomorrow. Until next time, everyone, you all have a good day. Bye bye.